Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Bounty of One. Do you remember this game? Well, it's just released version 1.0 and the devs have very kindly donated five game keys. So they are hidden throughout this video. You have to keep an eye out for them. Anyway, let's get into this and see what we've got. I've been told there is a new character, Jody. All right, so this is Jody. So basically, if I stand still... I believe I stack shots. Yeah, look how fast I'm shooting when I move. So you've still got to like stop, build them up. And then when you move, look how fast we shoot. Now we get to pick and unlock. Uh, so let's just go with damage early on. Oh no, we got our first boss. Now you'll notice this guy has a butt for a face. Now that makes them very, very dangerous. Uh, oh, two greys, which I'm not that big a fan of. And then raising the range of my area by 20%. It is a bluey. I do love a bluey. I do actually have a reroll. I'm going to reroll. Oh, I'm so glad I rerolled. We got a gold. Gain much more attack speed. So currently we're shooting 2.85 a second. So now it's gone up to 4.35. We have just killed the butt face boss, by the way. Uh, and you can see they dropped a chest. So let's just quickly grab that. When your projectiles deal critical, they pierce. Ooh, that could be good. Dashing through enemies deals damage to them or raise your attack speed by 40%, but half your shots are less precise. I feel like it's too early to do that. Let's just go with the critical piercing. And then I will just dash through these ones and get all those coins down there because then we can level up again. Now we got greys again, but one is the critical damage. So yeah, let's take that. So now we've got 15% chance of doing critical. And remember the criticals they pierce. Reduce the cooldowns of dashes and abilities by 15%. That could be good later on. Otherwise, it's more attack speed and raising my maximum health by one. Yeah, I think we'll reduce cooldowns because later on, future Matt will probably appreciate that move. Anyway, there is now another boss. So let's stand still, do a bit of damage. And then when we move, shoot loads. Nice. And then the boss is down so we can go grab the chest. And inside, oh, what's this? A lucky star. Gain an immunity to enemy damage each time you level up. It lasts for five seconds. You gain 50% more attack speed and damage while it lasts. I mean, alternatively, we can heal every time we level up. Or well, when you're out of dash, gain... Oh, gain loads of stuff. Maybe I should do that and then just, like, get rid of my dash. There you go. I've got no dash. All right, critical damage has gone up. I do need to try and get some actual damage. And get that increase. Oh, I just got hit. There was a heart, but I got hit. Like, right, what is... I don't like, like, what some of these enemies look like. Like, there's, like, sand gingerbread man with, like, butts on their face. I don't understand. Oh, look at that. That is what I do understand. Gaining much more damage. So, we currently do 75 damage. When we take this, we now do 105. So, that is a pretty tasty increase. We've just leveled up again as well. Should I do more damage again? Or increase my chance of dealing critical by seven. Now I think I think it's best to go damage early on. So yeah, we now when I get rid of my dash, can you see that damage has gone up to 156? Now I've got my dash back, it's down to 120. So definitely worth getting rid of my dash. Because I think my I think my attack speed goes up as well. So let's just grab a load of coins. Alright, then we've leveled up. Then I think this is where I take the critical chance. 5% is pretty good. But oh my goodness, what is that, boss? Oh, I just shot a load of stuff. That's not good. I mean, it didn't hit me, so it's not that bad. Uh, ooh, shots now pierce one more enemy. Do I take pit? Yeah, we take piercing. Because then technically, I can do like double the damage that I was doing. Alright, that's that boss down. That boss was very, very easy. Uh, what have we got here? Tract all collectibles on screen. Oh, upon taking damage. That's quite cool. But look in the middle. We got a purple. I love a purple. The Ethereal Flame spawns an invincible minion that picks up coins for you. It moves 20% slower than you and inflicts 50% of your damage when it collides with an enemy. Yes, I want a minion. It's like I've got Paddy. Oh, and he's getting all the coins for me. Oh, that's amazing. All right, let's pierce through another enemy. That is all good in my books. Because when we shoot really fast, that is doing a lot of piercing. You get one more choice for each upgrade and object selection. Yes, Getting that early is good. All right, anyway, look. Now we get to pick between four different upgrades. I don't really want to decrease that cooldown of my dashes. I'm trying to get rid of my dashes. I'll tell you what, I may re-roll these. There you go. We've got four blues to pick between. I'm going with my critical damages deal 75% more damage. Because one in four hits, 25% uh, of our hits are now critical, which is pretty, pretty good. Oh, look how gold that is. 40% increase. 
I don't even need pickup range. I got a minion, but I've taken it because it's gold and shiny and I'm weak. I'm like a magpie. But yeah, I need to remember sort of stay still. And then when I move, we shoot loads at once. Oh, this is the running after me enemy. All right, let's get far away. Oh, then we'll upgrade. So quickly pick an upgrade. 75% more critical, right? And then stand still and then get ready. Move now. Dash. Nice. That is how you take down a boss. Ooh, that could be good. Knife volley. After you dash, throw five knives in a cone towards nearest enemy. That could be good. Late game, this is like the best one you can get. Gluttony. Basically, as you increase your health, you increase your damage, but you do move slower. Uh, this one's also good as well, though. Emit an aura that slows enemies down. I think I'm going to take that one because I have taken the like 40% increase area. Oh, that was close. So, yeah, we're not going to be throwing knives today. I mean, we might be able to later if we get the same upgrade again. Uh, for now, though, three greys or a shiny gold on the end. Your projectiles bounce. Yes, please. So I think my projectiles, they pierce twice. because That's like the order of like how things happen. So they pierce and then they'll bounce afterwards. Oh, no, we got the sheriff. We got the sheriff. Okay, so this is the first actual boss. Oh, is this guy new? This guy's new. Simple Tom. Oh boy, oh boy, he's moving fast. <laughs> All right, stand still. And then as I run in, there we go. Oh boy, ow, ow, he hit me, he hit me. <laughs> All right, there we go, there we go. All right, stack him up, stack him up. Run, 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 run. All right, stand still. Ow, it hit me again. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad at dodging this guy. All right, anyway, Simple Tom is down. We get the mega chest. And inside the mega chest, ooh, three golds. So your shots come back and gain five piercing. <laughs> Gain an additional choice for upgrades and objects. Uh, do some poison. And then we've got this one. Gain 40% critical, but critical upgrades no longer appear. So if I ever want to take that later on, I sort of need to get to like 60%. I think I'm going to take the, the extra choice rather than those two. All right. Something I've just noticed as well. We are not one-shotting these enemies. Gain a lot more damage. So we're on 120. We're up to 140. Oh, and now we one-shot them. Oh, that is good. That is really good. I'm confused. Sometimes we're one-shotting, sometimes we're not. Oh, were they criticals? Maybe I was just getting lucky with criticals. Uh, what should we go for here? I mean, 40% increase. It's a big hit, but then also I could gain a lot more damage. Yeah, 160 damage now. Yeah, that is much better. Let's just dash this way. Stack these up because my dash is gone. Now, when we move, they do a lot more damage. Oh, now there's two bosses. That means I'm I'm not doing well. We we need to speed up our actual damage output. All right, there you go. The boss is down. We've, we took one boss down. There's still another one to go. But uh, what have we got here? Shoots an explosive grenade towards the nearest enemy. That could be good. That's on a cooldown as well, which I have been reducing. Whereas this one, fan of knives, when he stands still for every one shot, you charge up one knife, maximum of 30. Oh, this could actually be really good. Like combined with the one I have, I'm like stacking up a load of shots. We may be back on track. Oh, we've got some cool things here though. So the two purples, every time you kill 30 enemies, gain 1% critical chance, but you lose 50% of the buff when you take damage. So that's good if we want to get my criticals up. I'm sort of doing that already though. Whereas this other one, every 30 shots, your next shot is a big boy. Yeah, I like, I do, I like a big boy. <laughs> context, context. <laughs> All right, there it is. There's the big boy and that just pushes through everyone. So if I can increase my rate of fire, we will be firing a lot more of those. All right, let me head up this way. Oh, we've now got enemies dropping not only red coins, but I think the next level up from that, the more valuable one, the blue coins. So that is good. We've just destroyed that enemy to get another chest. Oh, don't recognize this one. Each of your projectiles moves between 30 and 70% faster. Nice. However, your first piercing shot now targets the closest enemy and you gain another pit. Yeah, okay. It's gold and shiny. I can't help myself. What are those enemies shooting lasers at me, actually? I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, we've just leveled up again. Time to get the attack speed up. So when we do our barrage, we're on five a second. That's pretty good. So we're doing a fair amount of damage. It looks like now my peer sort of does a homing thing. We are in a place where we can increase that rate of fire. Although this time we're just going to increase our damage. So 175 attack damage. Oh, there's a samurai guy after us. There's also, ah, there's also people throwing dynamite at me. All right, Samurai did not stand a chance. He's now down. Grab that chest. 70% of the enemy's special attacks are less precise. Ooh, that sounds, that does sound tempting. We've also got heal after dashing. I think that's good, actually, because I sort of want to get rid of my dashes. So basically, if I take damage, I can just dash. And not only will that gain me some health, it will also 
It'll keep my dashes away for longer, which would be good because that increases my, my attack speed, remember? Anyway, critical chance up by 5%. We're now on 45 cent chance. So nearly half of our shots are doing critical, which is four and a half times damage. All right. Oh, no, we got another boss. We have another boss. All right. Charge up those shots. Oh, it's this one. It's the dynamite one. Look at my projectile. Like the big ones are just like circling him like anything. Ah, dynamite. Ah, dynamite. <laughs> right, there you go. He's down. He is down. That's another boss down. By the way, in this game, the new release, there is a brand new boss. So that's cool. Uh, what have we got here? Oh, 180 no scope. Also shoot behind you. That's really good. Now we saw those two. This one, picking up hearts no longer heals you. However, you gain three base damage each time you pick up a heart. Ooh, that could be good combined with my, with my dash. But at the same time, three base damage is not a lot when I've already got like 175. Would it be better off just shooting behind me? I think I would. Editor's probably going to kill me for that decision. Wrong. I still got a lot of stuff to do and a short time to do it in. Ooh, top of the screen, there is a boss. I've just leveled up though. Let's take attack speed for now. All right, there's the boss. Let's move. And then the boss is down instantly. Oh, thank you. All. Right, whenever you move, add 8% to your area size and raise your damage by 5%. Oh, so that one wants me to move. Now could be the time to make my shots less precise and increase my attack speed. Yeah, let's do it. Because we've got the home in second hit. So I don't think it matters if I'm less precise, if I'm shooting a lot more often. Only time will tell. But for now, I seem to be keeping enemies at bay. That was a close ball that nearly hit me in the face. Shots come back to you and gain five piercing. I'm not sure if I want that. I'll tell you what, let's re-roll and see what we get. So we've got the crit chance. Could be okay. Um, oh, I remember this one being really good. Permanently gain 10% attack speed every 120 seconds. So you can get up to 30% extra attack speed if I don't take any damage. And I haven't actually taken damage in ages, which means I probably will take damage now. Yeah, let's increase critical by 5% again. But yeah, things are going pretty well. Let's get more damage. So we're on 190 damage now. All right, anyway, we got a boss. So we get, we get a chest pick between... Oh, I could go with the onion. Does 25% of my damage in an aura. I don't know if that's any good, though, really. I do have quite a big area. I think I'd rather reroll. But why? Let's add some bouncy projectiles. <laughs> I've probably got too much piercing and bouncing anyway. Now, let's add a bit more damage. We're on 200 damage now. That's a good, good round number. You have plus 5% critical chance for each ready-to-use stack of dashes. I don't think that's good if I want to use my dashes. At the moment, I'm not. I think, though, I'm going to take this one. The Espresso Frenzy will gain 2% speed and 1% attack speed uh, for every collectible we pick up. They only last like a few seconds, but it does stack to 50. So that's quite an increase, to be fair. Ow, I just took damage. That was silly. Oh, do I do attack speed or do I do the critical? I feel like critical is the best grey one to go for. We're getting so fast. Ah, this is the 50 times... Because I've picked up so many collectibles, this is the 50 times stacking thing that I was just talking about. I just ran into an enemy. <laughs> That's annoying. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's a good one. Criticals deal 100% more damage. So now 550%. Man, I am so fast now. This is ridiculous. Right, we have a boss. We do have a boss. What boss is this one? Oh, it's the Undertaker. Oh, when we run, we shoot so many projectiles. Like, look at its health go down. So now we just got to dodge the lasers. Got to remember I got a dash if I need it. Ah, horses. Ah, I took, ah, I took damage. <laughs> All right, yes, Undertaker is down. In, oh, my goodness. All right, so now we get the chest. Ooh, I can get the, the automatic tower. It does divide my attack speed by two, but then it's going to be shooting. And I think it has all the, all the like, attacks that I do. Yeah, so it also shoots, like, backwards and forwards, and it shoots the big projectiles. Yeah, my attack speed has been halved, which is not ideal. So I know what I'm focusing on next. Oh, and look at that. We got a Goldie. Gain much more attack speed. Thank you very much. Each of your projectiles has a random size and damage boost between minus 20% to plus 80%. Presumably, overall, that means a, a increase, but it depends if they're like evenly distributed. Oh, they've also changed this one. It slows enemies' projectiles in an area around you. Not everyone's, because that used to affect your own one, which wasn't cool. Uh, I'm going to go with random bullets, though. That sounds quite fun. <laughs> oh, yeah, there are, like, massive bullets. Oh, my goodness, even the giant ones get affected. Oh, and I've got loads of collectibles. I can move fast again now. Oh, there's a dragon after me. It's, like, surrounded in... Oh, I took, a... oh, I took damage. Oh, hello. Hello. Gained 40% critical chance, but the... 
critical chance upgrades no longer appear. I've got 65, so that'll get me to 100%. Yes, please. 100% crits. That is what we're talking about. Oh, that is rinsing enemies. Which means I may as well start increasing my critical damages. If it's higher than... Like if it's a bluey, definitely. Oh, what's this? For each bounce you have, summon a tumbleweed that bounces off the screen's edges. Do I, want, I feel like I definitely want this one. The bullet storm. It's purple as well. It just means like loads of projectiles like orbit me. And like if you've watched me at KSP, I love orbiting. Uh, let's add another bounce as well. Because I think that would be good for projectiles that are like orbiting me. So when you take two damage heal, I mean, the other things aren't that good. I might re-roll this. Oh, what's that on the end? It's gold and shiny. Your re-rolls for upgrades now raise the quality of the choices. Gain four re-rolls. I was going to say that was my last re-roll, so that's pointless. But if I gain four, yeah, I'm having that. I'm having that. And the next time, we are probably re-rolling. Oh, I can't re-roll these. Oh, that's annoying. Whenever you take two damage in a row, heal for two. Yeah, why not? All right, I definitely need to get some damage on the go. Let's have a go at this reroll then. Boosh, we got two blues and some golds. So critical still, 100% more damage. Yeah, sounds good. Hopefully that will like start pushing enemies back as we start doing one hit kills again. I feel like at the moment though, we're a bit away from that. Oh, oh, boss, boss, health bar. All right, there we go. I think I'm just about to get hit by something as well. Oh, look at this. I do love a bit of Pong. It does reduce your attack speed by 30%, but projectiles bounce off the edge of the screen. They don't go off it. Could be good. The other one, a pistol rang. He did what in his cup? Constantly spirals around you and inflicts your damage to enemies. It goes through and shoots at your current attack speed. We got to try that out, haven't we? We've got to try that out. There's a lot going on on screen. I can't really see it. Uh, critical damage. Yep. I think it's just in my tornado. I can't really see it, but it is shooting as well, apparently. So it's me, the turret, and the boomerang all shooting. Your shots pierce through one more enemy. I mean, do I need more piercing? I'm not sure I do. Let's re-roll these. So, oh, look. <gasps> I didn't know you could upgrade them like that. Your shots pierce through two more enemies. Yes. <laughs> Right, oh, here, here we go. Here we go. We've got two purples. What's the one on the right? Instead of aiming at the closest enemy, you alternate between the five closest. Your projectiles are 50% slower. Ooh, I don't like that. But attack speed increase by 50%. Sod it. I've tried it. I've tried it. Let's hope I don't regret that. So the thing with slower projectiles, it means enemies can get closer to you. But like, if I'm shooting more, then there's more on screen. So maybe we're fine. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I feel like actually enemies are much further away now. Uh, let's just gain a little bit more damage. Cheeky 5% increase there. Not great. Oh, and that's the one that I wanted earlier. Hearts no longer heal you, but we gain a lot. So every time I pick up a heart now, of which there are many, my damage is going up. There's lots of hearts up the top. So let's, <laughs> let's just go around picking them all up. This is getting close to invincible, it feels like. There's still more hearts over this way. Yeah, let's have a go at the tumbleweed. So we got the the four bounces. So we now have tumbleweeds <laughs> flying about the place. Oh, that's, they're quite cool, actually. I like them. Uh, gain 10% more experience. Yeah, if I'm leveling up quicker, then we're laughing. Look at the tumbleweeds going mental. I tell you what, that could be a good one. Attracts all collectibles on screen when you take damage. It's like, I take damage, but then I might level up, which would be good. Uh, attack speed or critical damage? Let's do critical damage as it's blue. Every bit of health I do, I get 10% damage, but I move slower. So you <laughs> look how big I am. So I've now got 1,116 damage. Don't even have to use my reroll. Your next shot deals two times more damage and bursts into multiple. Oh, it does reduce my attack speed. Sod it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. So I love that I've got so many upgrades on the on the left now. They've like come out of the, of the area they're meant to be in. Oh, this could be a good one. So if I re-roll those, we get some golds. Gain much more damage. I feel like raising my health by three is probably better. So that'll be a 30% increase, right? Yeah, let's do that. Our attack is now like 2,000. What? <laughs> wow. Oh, we've just got that as well. Shoot four times faster, but deal three times less damage. I mean, four times faster with those big bullets. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> I can't see anything on screen right now. And if I try and move, it's even worse because that's when I shoot loads of projectiles, remember? Oh, what is this? Every time you move two meters, load your next shot with two more projectiles. Okay, <laughs> I think we're pretty much invincible. Particularly if the game keeps throwing things like this at me. 
When your projectile hits, it splits into three projectiles that do 35% of your damage. Yes. Can't remember what enemies look like in this game. I feel so alone. At least I keep getting chests. I'm not sure what else there is to get. I'm just going to re-roll these till I get something that sounds good. Oh, there you go. Each of your projectiles move between 30% and 70% faster. Oh, the game didn't like that. <laughs> it lagged pretty hard before that upgrade. Throws three knives in random directions for each four meters traveled. Okay. <laughs> That's what I need. More projectiles. <laughs> right. I might risk losing everything I have. Your shots come back to you and gain five piercing. Is that going to cock everything up? It may do, but it's gold and shiny. Is that worse or is that the same? I think it's the same. Oh, I tell you what. Let's re-roll that. And then we've got the super special. Gain much more attack speed. Boosh. And the state of this screen right now. What's even going on? All right, I've now got over 500 grand bounty. And honestly, I don't think anyone's ever going to take me down. But yeah, this is why I love this game so much. Just because there is no limit. Like, you, you can make numbers as big as you want. And I love making numbers big. And the game's still throwing upgrades at me. Like, top left, the bar's clearly not big enough. I'm sh I've got like 10,000 projectiles stacked up as well. You can't even see the number. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love it. Anyway, guys, that was Bounty of One is now out. Hopefully you found a Steam key and you can play yourself for free. Uh, thank you to the devs for, for doing that. That's actually really cool of you. But yeah, for now, I'll say peace, love and infinite upgrades. Bye, guys.